Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this special evening promoted by the city of Lugano in partnership with Tether Limited uh, that together decide uh, to forward look an initiative of a city that, that has decided to redesign itself, which wants to rewrite its past and launch itself and its citizens into the future. We want to thank all of you, all participants, all the media, the press and the institution for the warm and numerous participation. Beyond the expectation, it's the first time after the, pand the pandemic COVID-19 that we have once again filled the Palazzo dei Congressi and it's an honor to have you dear guest. Before we begin, some just service information. Uh, the conference will take about 45-50 minutes and there will be a space after the conference for press and media. We will answer to all the questions of them and then uh, we will, can also speak with all participants here uh, into the uh, foyer. Uh, there is uh, another important question. Uh, I think everybody of you uh, is asking uh, but what we are doing here? Shall we eat something? Shall we drink something? Of course, there is a, a special buffet offered by the city and uh, uh, Tether Limited after the conference. And all of us, we will stay there to speak with you and to answer to all of your questions. Uh, what else? Uh, in the hall also, you will find uh, an uh, initiative, an example of a concert store of the future uh, in which objects in limited edition uh, are uh, for you uh, just to represent this special moment in which the city of Lugano which will, announce, will announce the partnership with Tetra Limited. Uh, there is also uh, some other important information. Uh, I, but I prefer that the speaker we will add to you. I start to present all of them, if it's working this one, okay. This is Lugano Plan B, B like Bitcoin, and this is our, wait. Okay, this is our speakers. Uh, the first one will be Michele Foletti, the mayor of the city of Lugano. Then uh, we speak, uh, J.M. van der Velde, CEO of Tether. Then Paolo Ardoino, CTO of Tether. And uh, Pietro Poretti, uh, Director of uh, Economic Development of the City of Lugano. We will announce to you uh, what is Plan B initiative. There is also an hashtag in which you can write, in which you can tag us, uh, and in which you can write uh, for all of us. But uh, before of all, uh, uh, another important thing, this is not a financial advice, uh, we are not, uh, you know, we can't give them, but all of us uh, are able to post meme on Twitter like uh, Paolo and the mayor uh, did uh, last days. And uh, last, uh, I'm uh, really honored to present the speaker, my name is Davide Baldi, I'm here, you know, to uh, promote all this initiative. I'm a citizen of Lugano and I'm uh, really honored to be a part of this one. Uh, at least uh, I leave the speaking to our mayor that will speak in Italian because uh, he wants uh, to intend that uh, Lugano, you know, is the most important city of Italian speaking outside from Italy. And uh, we are honored also of this one. Michele, all of them are for you. Grazie, Davide. Da parte mia, un caloroso benvenuto e un forte ringraziamento per essere accorsi così numerosi per assistere all'annuncio che stiamo per dare. Paolo Ardoino e Pietro Poretti vi illustreranno quello che abbiamo chiamato Piano B. Io vi darò invece il contesto che ha portato allo sviluppo di questa iniziativa. Oggi parliamo di futuro, anzi oggi siamo già nel futuro, attenti a raccogliere le opportunità offerte dallo sviluppo delle nuove tecnologie e consapevoli della necessità di prepararci in termini di formazione e infrastrutture. 
Sono persuaso che non sia un salto nel buio, poiché si tratta di un'evoluzione ancorata alla storia, alla cultura e al contesto sociale del nostro territorio. Occorre ora definire con attenzione come Lugano si posiziona in questo grande progetto. Sappiamo che oltre due terzi della popolazione europea oggi vive nelle aree urbane. Nelle città emergono i problemi, ma si trovano anche le soluzioni. Gli agglomerati sono un terreno fertile per scienza, tecnologia e innovazione. Le città sono il futuro. E il mio non è un semplice slogan, ma è una semplice constatazione. I centri urbani sono il motore economico del nostro Paese e nel corso dei prossimi anni assumeranno il ruolo primario di propulsori di innovazione, incubatori di esperienze, laboratori reali di impulsi per lo sviluppo di competenze e strategie a favore di tutti. Lugano è una città dalle dimensioni relativamente ridotte, abbiamo circa 65.000 abitanti, è la nona città svizzera per popolazione, la terza piazza finanziaria, e la seconda per estensione territoriale. Tra l'altro è quella che ha il maggior percentuale di spazi verdi e di boschi. Una città della quale sono oggi fiero di potervi parlare in qualità di sindaco. Sono fiero perché Lugano non subisce l'innovazione, non rimane inerte mentre il mondo evolve. Lugano vuole essere protagonista del suo futuro, abbraccia e accoglie il cambiamento, non lo rincorre e soprattutto non lo subisce. Lugano è conosciuto soprattutto per il turismo e i servizi finanziari. Forse quello che è meno conosciuto, o perlomeno non, non tutti sanno, è che a Lugano ha avuto origine importanti spinte innovative, delle vere e proprie rivoluzioni che si sono rivelate cruciali. That proved crucial to the evolution of our society. In the 19th century, Lugano welcomed brilliant minds who took up residence here and starting from our territory, they promoted the intellectual revolution that led to the unification of neighboring Italy. Even less well known is the fact that on almost every smartphone we carry in our pockets, there are functions based on technologies that have been developed in Lugano. Just by saying, hi Siri, or okay Google, we can interact with digital assistants based on artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence first appeared in Lugano when on the banks of the lake 50 years ago uh, they created the Dalle Molle Foundation. Another story of intuition and territory where our Lugano has welcomed a revolutionary idea. The foundation in fact gave birth to the Dalle Molle Institute for Artificial Intelligence Studies, now one of the world's ten largest research centers. What do I mean by this? Two simple observations. Lugano is historically a land of revolutionary innovation and freedom. And this fits in well with the theme of today's event. Lugano wants to be once again the home of a revolutionary innovation, namely the one started by Satoshi Nakamoto with his famous and celebrated Bitcoin white paper. Bitcoin, crypto, blockchain are certainly terms that frighten many, especially in institutional and conservative circles. But Lugano is not intimidated. It does not believe that these technologies should be relegated solely to insiders. It believes they should be disseminated and made accessible to all. Lugano has confirmed and strengthened its approach, started some time ago. It has dialogued with crypto and blockchain experts. It has prepared itself and analyzed the theme. Today, we are happy to say that Lugano recognizes and welcomes this opportunity in this community. A very large community represented tonight by many of you here in the room or following us in streaming. You who responded, I am here to our call, you have done it with great enthusiasm. You demonstrated the importance and weight of a sector that has the right to be properly recognized and valued as much as the traditional finance, the pharmaceutical and raw material sectors. And with these, it can and must work together. For us, it is clear 
blockchain exists, Bitcoin exists, and it is here to stay. Lugan is ready to welcome all those who have decided to embrace this cause, offering them many opportunities to build together our future. I am convinced that this journey will bring benefits to all the citizens, and that's why this is our commitment. Thank you very much. And now let's go on. We got a message from uh, CEO of Tether Limited, Jean-Louis Van Nevelde. Welcome, everybody. We are here today to celebrate a monumental moment for Lugano, cryptocurrency and our understanding of financials, Lugano's Plan B. This is a history that has evolved rapidly, and we are thrilled to be entering the next step with you. To set the stage, it was in 2009, on the back of the 2008 financial crisis, that a spark of an idea came to fruition. Satoshi Nakamoto released Bitcoin to the public and enthusiastic supporters began exchanging and mining currency. Only a few months prior, Nakamoto's idea existed only as a white paper. It was the belief that this idea was viable, scalable and practical that allowed the dawn of a new age. That new age birthed the dawn of Bitcoin, crypto and decentralized currency powered by open source, which I believe personally is a very important aspect of it because it can be inspected by anyone. Since then, crypto adoption and implementation have exploded. Today, several hundred million people use cryptocurrency um, to achieve their financial goals. And while this adoption has been wide scaled, the world has been remiss to see cryptocurrency being used practically. We lack the ability to exchange with the local bakeries and tailors. We lack the ability to pay for higher education or automobiles. We are stuck waiting for the world to catch up to the future of financial freedom. So that is why Tether and the magnificent city of Lugano, Switzerland, have decided to commit the building of the Bitcoin capital of Europe. We are working hand in hand to create a center of excellence that will demonstrate the real-world use of blockchain technologies at this broad municipal level. Together, we will work towards a shared goal of scaling the city's blockchain capabilities and making Lugano a hub for Europe European Bitcoin adoption and the model of excellence of financial freedom for the entire world. We envision blockchain touching every facet of this city. So as we embark on the next few months of foundation laying, information, information exchanging and system building, we could not be more excited. Sitting here, I can sense what Nakamoto knew back in 2008 when the white paper became a reality. This is the future of finance and trust. Uh, congratulations to the city of Lugano, Mayor Michele Folletti and all the dedicated partners who have made this possible. We cannot wait for the world to see our promise of possibility become a reality. Thank you. And now, let's see what's plan B. From uh, Paolo Ardoino, CTO of Tether Limited, and uh, Pietro Poretti, Head of Economic Development of the City of Lugano. Please, Paolo, and uh, please, Pietro, let's explain what we are thinking for citizens of Lugano and for all of Europe. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. So, um, I'm Paolo Arduino, I'm CTO at Tether, and I'm honored to be here with uh, Michele and Pietro and the City of Lugano and every one of you to present what uh, the future of um, Bitcoin adoption and uh, actually blockchain adoption could look like in a vibrant city and a beautiful city like Lugano. So I want to, to start from um, the macro, from the, the global aspects of, uh, of Bitcoin and blockchain in general. We have seen in the, um, in the recent events how uh, blockchain and Bitcoin especially have been on the news. We have seen example in El Salvador. El Salvador has been at the forefront of uh, Bitcoin adoption. They were the first. Uh, they were the first nation 
to support uh, Bitcoin with their uh, with uh, proclaiming Bitcoin to be legal tender. So Bitcoin as a legal tender means that Bitcoin is getting accepted as a parallel currency to uh, the US dollar in uh, El Salvador. And after that, uh, many other places and cities and countries in the world claim that they are actually looking to follow the very same steps. We have seen recently in a really sad um, set of events, starting from uh, uh, the turmoil in Canada and uh, then, of course, the, the even uh, worse situation that we are living nowadays, that is the war in Ukraine. Uh, we are seeing um, uh, how Bitcoin and the Tether are considered, are used as uh, instruments of freedom, where a government that is under uh, a really difficult situation, defending uh, from attacks, has decided to accept uh, Bitcoin and Tether as a way of payment to help their defense. So this is a testament of how um, this brilliant technology is more and more used nowadays as um, an instrument for, um, for positivity, for freedom and for growth and uh, for, to bring benefit to um, everyone uh, in, uh, in many different places in the world. We are seeing other cities now, like Miami and Dubai, uh, looking at crypto as an opportunity. Because we have to remember that uh, the entire crypto in the industry market is uh, varying from two to three trillion dollars. So is something that is, um, grew so big that cannot be ignored anymore. And Bitcoin is at the forefront of this, uh, this innovation. It was the, the first uh, cryptocurrency that was created in uh, um, back 2009 was the first block was mined. And uh, fast forward to today, we, have, we are actually starting to understand how this could be beneficial to local communities. And that is why we are here today. So uh, we want, with this plan B, focus from, start focusing from uh, the abstract uh, vision, or sometimes the abstract um, um, employment of this technology that uh, we are used to. Sometimes when we say blockchain, we say Bitcoin, as Michele was saying, um, many, you know, the, who is not used to this uh, to be a technician might not understand what we are referring to because some is in a certain sense intangible. So uh, with this plan B, we want to show that uh, what the, the toolings, the instruments, these currencies that, um, that were created can be actually put to work in a local control, vibrant environment like the city of Lugano. So I would like uh, Pietro to, to um, start uh, explaining actually the plan B to all of you. Thank you, Paola. I will keep the suspense for a few more minutes, if you allow me to do so. My name is Pietro Poretti. I'm having, I'm having the, development, the Economic Development Division for the city of Lugano. Let us move from uh, global to local. We have seen that Bitcoin and blockchain are spreading quickly, but uh, we need to drill down a little bit at local level to understand uh, what we are doing here and, and why, we are doing, uh, why we are doing it. As we have heard from uh, Mayor Folletti, digitalization is a key feature of the City of Lugano Development Guidelines. Uh, this is a document elaborated and approved by our Municipio, the Executive Council. It is a document, a set of guidelines that literally guides Lugano into the future, a bright future. We hope a bright future, of course. Uh, concretely, over the past 18 months, uh, the administration has had the opportunity to experiment uh, with blockchain and digital currencies. First, with the My Lugano app, uh, which is an instrument that literally brings uh, the city uh, at your fingertips if you start using it. And of course, the creation of a loyalty program uh, with a payment token uh, accepted today uh, by almost 200 stores, restaurants and service providers in the city of Lugano. Uh, later on, uh, Lugano announced the 3A chain which is uh, a city blockchain, that's how we call it. It's a proof of authority uh, blockchain. And by the way, you can learn more about these two initiatives, these two projects, which are reality, of course, already uh, in, the main, in the main hall. The collaboration that we announced today, uh, however, takes Lugano to the next level in its journey to become a center of excellence for everything that is blockchain. A journey that, going forward, uh, thanks to Tether, 
will experience a significant acceleration. Let me add that as the economic capital of southern Switzerland, Lugano leads in innovation and also wants to lead in the creation of new economic opportunities. Uh, this wants to be an inclusive leadership, of course. Um, Lugano seeks to collaborate with all those from the private and from the public sector who share our vision and our goals. Open-mindedness, constant pursuit of excellence, concreteness, and ultimately, of course, tangible benefits for everybody. So, if I can um, build on what uh, Pietro said, um, uh, in, the, in the recent weeks, um, we have been, uh, uh, as Tether, we have been asked why choosing Lugano. Lugano is, um, is a city that is in the center of Europe. Europe is uh, definitely a, um, a continent with uh, uh, vibrant minds with, uh, with, uh, that have been always at the forefront of innovation. And Lugano is in Switzerland. Is, Switzerland is one, considered one of the best uh, places in the world. Everyone, you know, if you go everywhere in the world and you say, the, if, you, if, you, if people have to think to a, a safe place, a secure place, they always think to Switzerland, right? So, Switzerland is a center in Europe. Uh, Lugano is um, really at the center of uh, Europe. It's nearby to Italy, uh, France, Germany, Austria, and uh, is nearby to big airports, and especially has a really bright, um, uh, for, um, forward-looking um, uh, institution and administration. So only unifying and putting together um, at the private sector, uh, private companies like Tether, and um, um, a forward-looking uh, institution um, and um, as the town and the administration of, of, uh, of Lugano, you can actually achieve the bigger goal that is bringing um, financial freedom um, and financial instrument, a modern financial instrument, to all the citizens. Again, this is important. So this is not what we are here today to, to make. Is not just you know a marketing. Um, is, is actually a set of concrete steps to make uh, Lugano the, uh, the blockchain hub for the entire Europe. And um, that can only be done if, uh, step by step, we find ways to include, as, as what Peter was saying, to bring inclusion to all the businesses, local businesses, all the shops, and every, everyone actually in the city, to start, being, to start to leverage these new technologies, to start accepting uh, these uh, new technologies in their day-to-day -day life. So but what is uh, plan B at the end of the day? Because that is why we are here, that is why you are here. Everybody is waiting to hear the details of this articulate uh, collaboration. Uh, plan B has uh, uh, several components, and what we are going to do now is to illustrate uh, the key ones. First and foremost, a hub. Uh, startup hub. Um, what we have agreed to do with Tether is to create a highly visible and recognizable venue, a physical venue, physical space for blockchain companies in Lugano. Several hundred square meters in the city center, which will become our flag, the Lugano flag on the map of everything relating to blockchain. We believe that the collaboration with a company of the caliber of Tether uh, is a magnet, is a magnet that will attract other companies, more companies, more professionals uh, active in this area, and uh, more broadly speaking, blockchain enthusiasts who will, who will come to Lugano. And by the way, we know that there are many uh, who fit uh, this description among you uh, tonight. Um, to encourage networking and opportunities to share ideas, to create, the app will also host a blockchain cafe, uh, a recreational space uh, for professionals, for students, of course, guests, um, a space for meetups and, and workshops open uh, to the public. Now, let me say that creating a cluster, or trying to create a cluster, because this is what we do, uh, a blockchain cluster, uh, more specifically, takes a focused, a strategic approach. Uh, but this is exactly what we have set out to do. Uh, we therefore plan to involve a large number of other partners all along the value chain, including the financial sector, which is, as you, as you know, traditionally well-rooted in this part of Switzerland. 
And then clusters also provide, of course, strengths in numbers, and, and this is what we've also aimed at achieving, uh, which means the ability, really the ability to speak with one voice when it is time to tackle important regulatory and policy issues uh, that impact this industry. And, and this is crucial, this is a very important aspect. Uh, for this, we count, of course, on the cantonal authorities, and we have several representatives here with us tonight, and we thank them for their participation. Um, structuring a cluster uh, is something that uh, can also not be done, a strong cluster, without synergies with academia, uh, but we will come back again uh, to this uh, in a moment. For those who are visiting from uh, uh, outside, Switzerland, of course, offers a business-friendly environment, and, and we know that. However, on top of that, we will do our best, again, in collaboration with a broad uh, array of public and private partners, to create the ideal conditions for a company to thrive in Lugano. We are going to roll out, let me say that, uh, the red carpet to facilitate uh, the establishment of companies and individuals and their families make them feel comfortable in Lugano, minimize bureaucratic hurdles to allow them to focus on their jobs. Uh, this may also sound a bit cliche, of course, but uh, whenever they can, uh, with our help, uh, we take care of all the, all the bureaucracy. Uh, this will free up time for you to explore and enjoy our beautiful surroundings, of course, and our stunning outdoors, our lakes and our mountains. Also, on, um, on top of the hub, I believe that uh, this is one of the most um, important uh, uh, parts of the Plan B. Um, you know, when, uh, when the city and, uh, and the private company like Tether are announcing this set of steps, the, the wonder is uh, how you can transform this, uh, you know, this announcement in war, in, uh, in actual actions. So, these are, you know, many, you know, the globe that uh, we were seeing before. There were many uh, article headlines uh, with cities saying we will adopt uh, Bitcoin, we will support crypto, and so on. But how you can actually make that happen? Because it's easier to be said than done, right? Tomorrow there will be uh, many um, shops and uh, business people here that will start wonder how they can move forward and can be part of this. Um, this process. So, with um, with um, a consortium of different uh, of different partners, Tether um, is setting up uh, with the city and again these partners a three plus, a three plus million um, Swiss franc um, fund to foster the adoption of uh, um, Bitcoin and Tether and um, and Luga the stablecoin of the city across all the entire businesses in the city, and shops included. So it means that when a shop will uh, try to understand how actually uh, they, they can be connected to, um, to uh, blockchain and use uh, these new financial services and integrate these services with their existing point of sale and so on, there will be a team of people, there is funding that is already available, that will be available in, in already in the next coming days to make this happen. Because this plan B works only if every one of us is aligned, everyone works toward the same goal. And uh, on top of that, um, there will be um, a bigger pool, because one thing is uh, helping the local businesses to, to successfully integrate with, um, with, blockchains, uh, with blockchain and uh, Bitcoin and, and so on. And another thing is to also attract uh, additional talent from abroad. Because if you want to become the blockchain hub for Europe, you have to be open to, um, you have to be, to be a fertile place, as, as Peter was saying, uh, um, you know, showing the red carpet to, all st uh, to many startups that are looking to actually come in one of the most uh, vib vibrant uh, places for crypto. So today we are also announcing the formation of a pool of funds that is um, up into 100 million Swiss francs for startups that want to relocate here and want to put their headquarters here and bring their own people here to work. Work not just for the city and for, for the city services, but build actual um, unicorns 
based on blockchain and based on Bitcoin. So this is possible thanks to um, infrastructure partners uh, like Polygon, for example, that will commit. Polygon is one of the um, is uh, is one of the blockchains that uh, Tether, our stablecoin, is running on top too, and. Polygon is um, the infrastructure partner for the um, stablecoin settlements in the city. So we will have two parts. There will be the Bitcoin um, adoption, and there will, as, as we, are, uh, we have been saying, there will be the stablecoin part of, uh, of this Plan B that will see uh, Tether USDT and um, the Luga stablecoin that will, um, that will run on, uh, on Polygon Rails. So. This is actually, um, if you think about this, uh, uh, the sizes of this pool of funds, uh, it, it, this, is just, um, this is just the beginning, I believe, because what we can do with the, the amount of people, the amount of talent and knowledge that can be brought into, in, uh, into Lugano, supporting um, uh, Bitcoin technologies and investing in Bitcoin, we will see later how, uh, what are the steps to actually transform words into facts, uh, how this can, can happen. And the fact that we, with, um, with just few companies, with few days of work, with, um, with, our, with uh, just the initial effort, we, we have been able to attract so much uh, interest from the outside. Imagine what can happen, the sizes of this investment that can come in the future. Next one. So we uh, spoke about the hub. We have heard about the hub. Uh, we've heard about the funds, plural, uh, two funds, and, and more to come. Let us now move to another important aspect of this uh, strategic collaboration between the city of Lugano and Tether. Lugano, as you know, is a university town and the administration already works with the local universities in many different areas. It could not, of course, be different in the case of Lugano Plan B. This is a crucial part of this, of this uh, uh, collaboration. And we started from a basic observation. Blockchain companies, Tether, of course, and the other companies we've been interacting with over the past uh, few months, need skilled workforce. They, they need trained people, they need specialists. And currently the demand in this sector exceeds uh, the offer by a lot, by far. Paolo, you confirm this? Absolutely. So as um, leading two companies, uh, Tether and Bitfinex, two, two companies that uh, really are uh, based on technology, where the technology, is at, of course, in being blockchain, is at the core of, uh, of its uh, soul, we are struggling to find um, talented, expert, expert um, um, uh, developers, but not just developers, also um, um, customer support agents, uh, compliance agents, because that that the part of um, while the industry is growing, for example, there is uh, there is a lot of requirements for uh, compliance, onboarding, anti-money laundering, and so on. These are all jobs that can be um, attracted to these uh, uh, companies like us, and not not just, of course, uh, Bitfinex and Tether. There is demand of highly these these jobs are highly paid because there is a lot of competition be, uh, across all the companies in, working in crypto, and. Um, even the expertise that historically Switzerland had in when it comes to when it comes to financial services, again, being in Lugano, Lugano just makes sense. Lugano is the perfect place that can unify the the, the innovation of uh, of the technology and um, take the talent from the traditional financial industry. So, is you know, is uh, development, is um, is customer support, is compliance is marketing and so on. So there are plenty of new jobs that, uh, that uh, have been open recently. Um, but between Tether and Bitfinex, we are looking for you know, really tens, up to hundreds of, of people. Um, so um, that's why we are excited that part of this plan is actually working with different universities. It's one of the beautiful and most astonishing things of Lugano is that there are th actual three university cities on a 60,000 uh, people, uh, as a 60,000 people town, three universities speaks really highly 
about the importance and the interest and, um, of, of education for the administration, for the city. And, and these are real opportunities, of course, for well-paid jobs, also for our uh, youth. Not in two years, not, in, not even in six months, I would say now, right now. And it, it's with this uh, in mind that we sat down with universities, with Tether and other blockchain companies uh, to discuss how to best address the demand for skilled resources in this field. And, and this is why, um, beside the hub and, uh, and the funds, of course, we're also very proud to announce uh, that the strategic collaboration includes uh, the launch of a specialized training uh, curriculum uh, with the local universities, with the aim also to promote Lugano as the place to go for talent interested in launching a blockchain career. On, um, on top of the, the fund as we, um, that we discussed before, um, everything that we... Um, in order to make uh, this big plan to happen, um, we have to invest in education, as we said. And in order to make this happen, you know, it's, uh, the most important thing is to invest in, um, in teachers and uh, giving opportunities to students to learn about uh, Bitcoin, about Lightning Network, uh, and, uh, and uh, um, decentralized technologies. Because there is a huge uh, gap that can be easily um, fulfill as long as, again, um, um, private companies that have specific needs, universities and administration are all aligned to, to fulfill. Um, for this reason, um, Tether and the consortium of, uh, of uh, companies uh, working together will um, offer 500 um, student grants, uh, scholarships, to help um, it, the, with the education, to provide a way for, for students, for young minds, and uh, for people that also that already work, to apply for courses, to learn about how Bitcoin works, why is a crypto technology, why it was created in the first instance, how it can be applied to, um, from the macro scale of, uh, of necessity to a local scale of necessity, having already a clear example, a clear test ground, if you will, here in, a, in, a, in, in this magnificent city. So um, these, these grants will be given to, to help um, these, um, these students to learn how they can be prepared to, to educate themselves on, on these technologies and be ready to apply for the enormous amount of jobs and vacancies that are available across all the companies working in crypto and the blockchain space. Nice. And, but it's not all. That's right, guys. There's there more. is also another announcement that we want to tell if it's working, this one. To speak about it. Bye, Peter. I can do it quickly. Early, we heard our mayor uh, speaking about Lugano as a historically fertile uh, ground for ideas. Let me say also some pretty big ideas um, over the centuries. And this is why we're happy to announce that we are uh, preparing uh, a big event, a big event for innovators from all over the world, uh, blockchain Bitcoin innovators, to gather in Lugano. The name is, of the event is the Bitcoin World Forum. Uh, we already have the dates, uh, so you can uh, save your calendar. Uh, we cannot take registrations for the event yet, but you can save your calendar. 27, 29th of October, 2022, so this year at this very place, here at uh, Palazzo dei Congressi Lugano. I think uh, Paolo can, give us, can already give us a preview of uh, some of the speakers, the big names uh, who have already confirmed their participation to the Bitcoin World Forum. Sure, so we have been uh, uh, in discussion, of course, with the broader industry. We have as speakers already uh, Adam Beck, that is the CEO of Blockstream, and Sanson Mo, uh, former CSO of Blockstream. Um, both is super excited to be part of, of this, uh, this project. Um, we are also, um, the more the time will pass, we will keep announcing additional guests. 
one um, another guest that you will see uh, that he will also uh, is sending his hello uh, to every one of us today is uh, Max Kaiser. So these are all great minds that are uh, working and fighting for um, uh, for nationwide adoption of these technologies. Um, I think that uh, we cannot be more honored to have um, to have them helping us um, to, to, to fulfill our mission. Because, you know, it's uh, alone, we cannot do much. In the end, um, we need to be a team, we need to be a community to achieve this greater goal. So, um, we will, I'm sure that um, the uh, event in Lugano will be a success. Being in Switzerland, that is uh, the place where um, everyone thinks uh, that everyone uh, relates to freedom, to also freedom of thinking, freedom of speech, is, is actually, you know, I'm, I'm sure that uh, there will be, the, the size of this event will be dwarfed by, by the excitement of, uh, of the event in, uh, in, uh, in October. There is also a video about it, Absolutely. and we share with people. Of course. Yeah. Please. If no party. Or maybe not. <laughs> Ciao, Lugano. Congratulations on your Plan B. This is a historic day, and I look forward to seeing what comes next from the city, from Tether and Paolo and the team. This is great news for Bitcoin and Bitcoiners around the world. Ciao, Lugano. Congratulations on your Plan B. Congratulations on Plan B, adopting perfect money to go with your perfect team. What a fantastic combination. Yeah, and there will be so many speakers that we will add in the next months. And uh, there's some other, any initiatives? I think, uh, Paolo, you want to speak about that? Of course, so let's see. The, the first initiative that we are exploring, I believe that um, you know, the, one of the biggest misconceptions about uh, Bitcoin is you know, the, the waste of uh, resources and the, um, the fact that Bitcoin uses a lot of electricity. So um, one important fact that uh, uh, is uh, becoming a bit more known now is, uh, the, is the fact that uh, Bitcoin is actually uh, the the element that is pushing for um, the, the research of, uh, into renewable energies and green energy production. So with the city, uh, we have been discussing to um, find the right locations, the right, uh, the right solutions to um, install uh, mining equipment and start mining Bitcoin with 100% green energy. We, as Tether, has be, have been investing in um, a lot in mining recently because we believe that uh, um, having a broader, um, a, a, a broader adoption of, uh, of Bitcoin mining across different countries, uh, also having diversity. You, know, we, you don't want to have one single country that, uh, that uh, have the majority of mining. We have seen, for example, past years China. We want to have a diversification of mining. And uh, Lugano is uh, actually one of the biggest producers in the area of, uh, of um, um, green and renewable energy. And uh, Michele teach me that uh, um, uh, actually uh, um, the, uh, when you sign up a contract with the local energy, um, uh, the local energy provider, uh, the default is already using 100% renewable or green energy. So Tether um, have been um, researching and investing in companies that could uh, improve the, um, improve the um, efficiency also of mining. For example, we invested in a company recently called Enigma that, uh, that is um, working with uh, one of the biggest um, semiconductor companies in the world to try to understand how from one kilowatt hour or one megawatt hour you can actually maximize the output in terms of bitcoins. And why is that? Why that is important? It's important because part of the output of this bitcoin mining process can be kept in a treasury or given to a foundation governed by the city of Lugano so that it can be reinvested in 
infrastructure that can be still additional renewable energy infrastructure as well as um, as well as general infrastructure for the city, you can imagine roads and everything. And um, on top of that, um, it's, um, it's also important that uh, um, we, um, we talk about the, the fact that um, uh, this mine initiative, just to preempt uh, uh, possible questions, this, uh, this mining um, initiative, as almost any other mine initiative across the world, is actually uh, providing a positive effect on the um, electricity grids of entire countries or, 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 or local areas. Because the mining happens using the surplus of energy, of electricity, produced by, the, um, by for example, the, 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 the power plants. So with the, using just the surplus, you've optimized the grid, first of all. You also don't waste energy. And uh, at the same time, if there is a spike, if there is a requirement from the local community, you always give priority to the local community. So also with this initiative, we want to be um, a good partner for the city to explore possibilities and to help the city to grow at, at uh, a small treasury or a big treasury, hopefully, um, uh, that, that could be put aside for also the future of, uh, of the youth here and also to build additional infrastructure to keep growing this amazing initiative. Thank you. Thank you. You want to speak? Uh, time is running. I'm so sorry, but I, I need to, you know, stay on time. We can print more time, maybe. Yes, I, I don't want to bore everyone to death, but I get excited to talk about this stuff. So. Yeah, this is really, really important. And I think we can uh, uh, give some notice into the future about uh, this green initiative. But there is another important thing, uh, and I think that maybe, Pietro, it's you that you want to present uh, the next part on Plan B, because Plan B is doing by a lot of things together. <laughs> I, I would say last but not least, of course. <laughs> this is big. <laughs> this is indeed quite big. Um, plan B is also about making Lugano a place where cryptos are accepted by everybody and everywhere in the public and private sector. Not all cryptos, of course, huh? uh, the three that you see uh, on the screen. Let's start with the public sector. Yeah. Uh, so in the very near future, what we will do, we will scale uh, our efforts to enable citizens and companies, for instance, to fully pay their annual taxes and all the services and goods that they purchase, that they receive uh, from the municipal administrations in uh, cryptocurrencies. This is the first part, of course. Uh, public services, of course. Uh, from A to Z, uh, parking tickets. You can leave, you can experience Lugano with crypto. That's nice. Yeah. You have a dog, also. dog taxes. Next. <laughs> we Keep going. Uh, sewage fees. <laughs> This is just Even amazing. the market site, right? If you plan on selling stuff at the market, you will be able to pay the small fee in cryptos. Uh, passport ID, passport assistance fees. For new residents that want to come here. Authorization fees. Construction permit fees. If you have a boat, you're docking. Of course. Fees. Well, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Tuitions at meal uh, fees uh, at uh, our public schools, garbage tax. Also, because it's important. Of course, signatures, authorization fees. Uh, whenever you go to our uh, public infrastructure, uh, the Lido, for instance, uh, swimming pools, etc., etc. Or all public, public events. events. There are many organized in Lugano all the times. You need uh, an expert from an official register. Same. You want to rent spaces for events here at Villa Chani. And <laughs> as they say, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> also that one. 
they say death and taxes, and uh, well, at least in Lugano, what you can do is to arrange to pay the last one in cryptos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we saw the, the, the public uh, part, the public sector part, now briefly on the private sector. Um, of course, we also aim at ensuring that uh, Bitcoin, Tether, and uh, <laughs> Luga uh, will become a common feature in shops and in all commercial activities in Lugano. Uh, we mentioned Luga, the Luga Points, our uh, city payment token, several times today. And we are therefore not starting from scratch. Uh, it's important that you know that uh, over the past uh, 16 months, uh, uh, we have introduced uh, close to 200 SMEs and 5,000 citizens of Lugano to cryptocurrencies. We have done it by uh, promoting uh, Luga, our payment token. As a matter of fact, each and every one of them is using, almost on a daily basis, uh, a digital wallet. We are also convinced that, thanks to widespread adoption of Bitcoin and, and stable coins, the global crypto community, many of you, will favor our city, will favor Lugano. And we also know that the purchasing power of the community is far from negligible. Uh, this is good news. This is a big opportunity for the retail sector, hospitality, tourism. Not seizing it uh, would be like refusing to introduce credit card payment terminals years ago. Yeah. We, as, as Paolo said it several times already, this is a joint effort. Everybody should play with if we want this to truly succeed. And let's also not forget that... Let's also not forget that uh, with cryptos, transaction costs in the form of uh, commissions are much lower than for most credit cards. And in some cases, like for the Luga points, non-existent for the merchants and for uh, the clients, the customers alike. At zero fee. So, what is it, Plan B? Plan B, it's... Uh... Hold on. I have something to say about the private part. Of course, I have something. To Sorry, say. my friend. So um, I think that uh, one of the most important things to underline is, first of all, it's extremely rare, and it's the thing that makes us all excited here, is that it's really rare to uh, find um, an administration that really wants to go so deep in the rabbit hole of understanding why this technology has been disrupting the basically entire world. And, you know, uh, the, this technology and Bitcoin started, um, you know, 10, 12 years ago, and uh, nowadays uh, nations are talking about it, right? So it, um, and stable coins as well. It, the, the stable coin industry is, um, has surpassed $170 billion. Um, and the uh, entire um, crypto market is between two and three trillion dollars. So um, the first part of the plan and is actually, as I said before, uh, with these uh, funds, is to make sure that uh, no one gets uh, left out. Right? We want everyone to be helped. Um, we will help everyone um, you know, uh, taking them hand by hand um, into in, with us in this uh, in, in this process, and at the same time, one of the most important things is to increase awareness, increase adoption. One of the most um, important technologies in the Bitcoin space is Lightning Network. Lightning Network is uh, uh, many times you might hear, and this is again sorry if I'm taking a little bit on more of your time. Is um, sometimes you hear that Bitcoin is low, that the credit cards are faster, and so on. But we have we have been building over the years on top technologies like Lightning Network that can process. Um, hundreds of thousands of transactions per second. And with the right scale, with the right constant uh, research and improvement and so on, they can easily scale to millions of transactions per second. So that is a humanitarian uh, scale um, um, throughput of this technology. So we want to have, uh, to see Lugano being the, uh, across the first wide adopters of the te this technology. Because um, with the um, with Lightning Network, you get the um, you get all the security of Bitcoin, but with 
one really small fraction of the fees. And if we can get all the um, business owners or the hotels and the shops and everyone in the city and taxis and so on to support this project, um, let me give you one, uh, one data point or two data points. In the last year, so as soon as um, as Salvador announced Bitcoin as a legal tender, their GDP increased 10%. And their tourism grew 30%. So imagine what we could do in a city that is at the center of Europe, that is so forward thinking, that as you have seen is all, in all the previous slides, is so really deep into um, pushing this, uh, this, this technology, this adoption, then imagine how much we can get out of this, right? So it is about attract wealth, it is, is about to attract smart minds, opportunities, not for few companies, it's for everyone. Because if we can double in the next two, three years, the tourism here, everyone will benefit out of it. If we can bring more companies and startups, we have seen in the case of the hub, there are already many, hub, uh, many startups that are committing, just hearing not everyone, everything that we are discussing, just hearing, having a, a small uh, piece of information that we gave in, uh, that we gave, uh, you know, in first hand to them, they were extremely excited, they were already committing to come here. So imagine what can happen if we all work together in the next two or three years. So guys, what is Plan B? Plan B is a, a bar, an event, pay taxes, payments in general, mining, education, investment, startup hub. It's really, really, really interesting. Abio, do you have time for the Italian version? Yeah. Okay, so um, let me switch for you. quickly to Italian. Um, per tutti quelli che... For all of you being here tonight, who have not had the translation, it's... We have to say that we are in the main city of Lugano, speaking Italian, so the third financial place in Switzerland, and they, we speak Italian here. The quick summary of Lugano Plan B is the creation of a hub to host startups that would like to relocate here on the territory and want to invest in the territory and want to have their headquarters here. It's the creation of an event a global event. That's why we have the Bitcoin World Forum in October, 26 to 28 October, which and it will be open to all those who want to focus on the topics of adoption of Bitcoin, adoption of decentralized technologies, freedom of expression, etc. Moreover, as Pietro explained before, there will be the public part, the support for Bitcoin, Tether and Luga. Luga is the stable coin of Lugano City, which corresponds to 100 of a franc. So it's not just a token that Lugano invented, but it represents a stable coin. It is a stable coin, in fact, and it represents how it shows how much the city of Lugano has been innovative in the last years. Quindi abbiamo abbiamo usato nel è stato usato nella nella presentazione il termine legal tender. We used legal tender in the presentation. It's a term that went all over the world thanks to El Salvador. It means that Bitcoin, Tether and Luga will be used and accepted as any other local currencies are accepted. This is the most important thing probably of this project, the total support of this currency. So then we spoke about the private part of the whole private context. So uh, shops, hotels, companies 
that work here and which will have resources available to support this plan B. So today we don't want to say come here and support Bitcoin. The local businesses will have the chance to access funds to remodernize their infrastructure, however small it might be, in order to introduce payment systems connected with Bitcoin and Tether and Luga points. We spoke about the fund. It would be two funds, three million francs, one, which will grow, which will be dedicated to support local startups that want to help the territory in integrating the payment system, so Bitcoin, Tether and Luga, in all the local businesses. There will be a pool of funds up to 100 million francs for all the startups that want to relocate from any part of the world come to Lugano, but seriously, so creating a headquarter here, not just putting the address and then goodbye. So this fund will be in collaboration with other important players of the crypto world like Polygon. This fund will be made available to make this fertile territory grow. We spoke about education. Lugano has three universities on 65,000 inhabitants, which is something very peculiar because you understand how much the city of Lugano cares about um, education. So there will be 500 grants awarded in order to increase the skills of young students on Bitcoin, blockchain and decentralized systems because there's many companies in the crypto world that are desperately looking to trying to hire people with certain skills and given the explosion of this crypto sector there is a enormous competitiveness and it's difficult to find this kind of Per profile. So the grants will bring skills and help students to gain skills and at the same time it will make Lugano uh, even more lively and vivid place. Last point, oh, I've spoke about it at the beginning so that's about it. Before the end of the conference, another important moment, moment, which can be done in both languages, the signature of the Memorandum of Understanding between Tether Limited and the city of Lugano. My writing is very bad. Same here. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I keep it because here things disappear. 
it will be kept by our mayor. Uh, there is another signature that we maybe Paolo want to speak about it. Of course. Uh, let's see. Oh, first we should have talked about. So, um, as you might have seen outside of the um, of this hall, there is a, a nice shop where. Um, you can buy t-shirts, hats, uh, and uh, you can receive stickers for the event. Um, you can pay already in, um, in uh, Bitcoin with Lightning Network and, um, and Luga, so the, the city stable coin. So um, if you want to support also the initiative and have a nice hat, uh, you should really take a look at the stand outside. Thank you. <laughs> you make the promotion. <laughs> And last but not least, since we are talking about Bitcoin, um, today uh, we, um, we sent a transaction of 0.021 uh, Bitcoin from Tether Wallet into the, uh, the City Wallet with um, um, a, a sentence to remark and uh, um, remember uh, this historical moment. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. Thank you guys, thank you to all participants. The aperitif is uh, open uh, into the hall and uh, uh, for press and media we will reserve into five minutes in Villa Ciani the press and media uh, question and answer, okay, with the speakers. Thank you to all.